Having discussed the basics of standard attributes, let's now move on to custom attributes. Custom attributes are any additional attributes not covered by standard ones that you can track for your users. You can also create custom attributes for companies, deals, products, and events. But let's now focus on the user's custom attributes. There are a few ways of creating them. You can create a new custom attribute directly from the filters, or if you prefer to work through programming interface, by REST API request. Using one endpoint, you can create attributes for four different content types, client user, company, deal, or product. It's as well possible to add a new custom attribute directly from the user settings module. So let's have a quick look at that now. I'm going to app settings. We haven't created any yet, so let's click here. And it takes us to the user's attributes menu, which is always available in the app settings under user data and events and attributes. You can of course create your very own custom attributes here, but to make this process as easy as possible, we have prepared a set of most popular custom attributes you can choose from. So let's have a look at them now. As you see, there are many options available and they've been divided by business type. We have a sample list for SAAS, B2B and B2C, attributes useful for e-commerce, like for example, total spend or last category viewed. We've also added attributes useful to track important details while running a campaign. At the end, we see attributes dedicated to e-commerce businesses using WooCommerce plugin. Every time you create a new custom attribute, it will appear in the filtering section, and from there, you can create filters related to it. One of the useful features available in the app is a possibility to automate the process of collecting information that is saved as a custom attribute. Once you've created your custom attribute in the app, you can simply set your automation up in a way that lets you save a given detail as an attribute's value. You can easily select it from the drop-down menu here. You can as well update the value of a standard or custom attribute thanks to Update Attribute module. Or use Change Custom Attributes module, which is dedicated to integer attributes, and it automatically adds or subtracts a given amount from this attribute. An example, each time a user purchases something at your e-store, it increases the value of attribute number of purchases made by one. And that was a general overview of custom attributes. To find out more, let's continue to the next video. Thanks for listening.